You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey guys, welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul and I have the epic luxury of having Mr. Nick Martino from the County of Ventura Airport Supervisor. He's here today to help us test the Aeroscope platform. Now, Nick, thank you so much for bringing yeah, this with sure. you. Really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Now, Pleasure. so tell us a little bit about yourself and tell us why Aeroscope would be a good thing for someone like you who's the supervisor of an airport. Sure. Um, well, Aeroscope is, um, it does a lot of different things for us. So first and most importantly, um, it helps us understand what users are doing with the drones around our airport. So um, it's an educational tool for us. And it's an educational tool for the community members as well. So what it does is it allows us to engage with the public. Um, so we know when something's flying around our airport, it gives us that opportunity to engage with them and find out why it is that they're operating, whether or not they have that COA or a Part 107 exemption, um, or possibly, um, you know, if they just were unaware that they're near an airport. So we can engage them and help them understand the right way to go about flying and make sure that they're flying safely. So you're using this mostly for monitoring then? There's no way to directly interject to the pilot? No, no, it's completely passive. So we, we pick it up and uh, it sends us telemetry data of the UAS and the pilot. And um, basically it's up to us and how we want to proceed further. But it doesn't give us any personal information or anything like that. It doesn't store any data. Yeah, the cool thing is that there is that privacy factor for you guys. So right. there is a little bit of uh, you know data transmission if you're using something like Flight Hub, but when you're using DJI Go 4 with this system, you can't actually even see what they're looking at through the camera. You can't no. see any of that. No, just telemetry data. That's awesome. Now, one other question I have for you mm -hmm. is, um, Earlier you were saying now, uh, well, we can monitor the skies around us, see what's going on, mm -hmm. and then you know, essentially have a way to communicate with them. Can you communicate to the drone user through Aeroscope? No, you can't communicate with the user yet. Although DJI has talked about maybe uh, including a voluntary communication method uh, via the DJI Flight Hub app, um, but right now we don't have that ability. Um, so, um, you know, there's some uh, there's some upside and some downside. Obviously, we don't want to distract the pilot while they're flying, um, but we would like uh, for the pilots to have that option to opt in to communicate with us voluntarily and say, "Hey, I have a Part 107 waiver," or "Hey, I have this COA," or "Hey, I have authorization from a certain tower manager or airport uh, manager." You know. So, in that new firmware update, you'll essentially be able to say, "Like, this is my intended use. I'm authorized yep. to fly here. Authorization yep. number." Yep. And again, just giving the general public near the airport. Um, you know, that extra level of added safety and giving the airports uh, that comfort knowing that the general public is acting safe. And I think it's great information. So what we're gonna do today, guys, is we're actually going to have Vic Moss, who's standing off camera right now, fly a drone, and I'll probably fly one as well. And then Nick is actually going to monitor the drones and tell us exactly what he can see. And you'll get a first real world glimpse into how Aeroscope works. So you ready to get started? I'm ready. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> I'm going to show you how DJI Aeroscope works. So right here, you can see um, we've got a signal lock on two UAS, two different UAS. I can zoom all the way in. So there's our location here. And then this is the icon of the two different UAS that are flying locally. So and then if I actually select the UAS, it gives me a zoomed out uh, image of the continental United States. And then I can actually get the serial number and the telemetry data. And as Vic and Paul uh, begin to fly, uh, hopefully we'll get more telemetry data as they uh, continue to use the UAS. All right, so as you can see on the Crystal Sky display screen, um, I've got two active UAS flying uh, within um, our scannable area. And if I select one of these um, icons, as you can see here, it will give me uh, live flight data. Um, and I can actually click this little screen, a uh, little dot here, and um, it'll actually give me the full flight track information. And if I wanted to get more information uh, about the aircraft's uh, location, uh, specifically the GPS coordinates, telemetry data, speed, altitude, 
and of course the home location of the pilot, not its actual physical home, but the home that the drone would return to. Um, I can actually click on that and I can scroll through these different menus. So here I have the aircraft type, a serial number, it's telemetry data. And if I go back here to this menu and I actually hold down this little icon in the bottom corner, I can see, okay, here's the Mavic that's flying near me. And I can also see there's also an Inspire 2. And they're flip-flopping based on their telemetry data and which one's closer. But if I select one here, I can actually get the serial number and the email account that was used in the DJI uh, flight app. So if we needed to absolutely get in touch with the pilot at a later time um, you know, to help coordinate, we could definitely do that. There's your flight data. <laughs> Vic, are you making the Big Dipper back here? What's going on? <laughs> here, I'll, I'll draw your name, Vic. There's the V. Hold on, I'm going in for the V. How am I going to do a little eye? That's, I can't do an eye. Well, you'll have to turn it off and then turn it back on real oh, quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if your goal is to color squiggles, then... <laughs> Probably not that accurate, but <laughs> if you want to know what's going on in your airspace, I'd say it's a pretty good tool. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> DJI has openly said it's not going to be available to consumers, so it'll be on an as-needed uh, basis for um, airports and uh, FAA representatives, emergency responders, so how, basically government agencies. How would any agency or local enforcement officer get in touch with DJI to get their hands on one of these? Well, I know that DJI definitely is uh, looking at including it as an enterprise option. So um, as you know, DJI has been bolstering their enterprise capabilities and their enterprise networks. And so just like DJI reached out to us to see if we would be interested in testing out the unit, I imagine that once they're uh, fully ready, that um, DJI will probably use their enterprise network to reach out to those partners. All right, guys, you just got a first-hand look of how Aeroscope works. Now, a lot of people have been mentioning that they're afraid of Aeroscope. They're afraid that Someone like Nick is going to have a field day and make sure that you can't fly anymore. Maybe intentionally crash your drone, but you can't take over control of any drone with Aeroscope, right? No, no, there's no way to actually intercept the UAS or manipulate the controls whatsoever. It's completely passive data that the drone is actually already acquiring. I can't see what you guys see. All I can see is telemetry data and the serial number and the, the user account. You know, it was really interesting. You say user account, right? Mm -hmm. As soon as I turned my Inspire 2 on, I saw my email address boom pop up right. so it, you have a way to communicate obviously with an outside device sure. but it does showcase your information almost instantaneously now let me ask you a question Nick do you think that responsible operators should be fearful of aeroscope absolutely not no um, we've seen in our experience that most users uh, they want to operate safely they want to do the right thing they want to inform the airport and they want to uh, work together with the local aviation uh, you know authorities and that's what we want too um, you know uh, specifically Ventura County um, we're, we don't look we're not wanting to be draconian in any way in fact we want to encourage the general public to fly they're gonna fly no matter what so at the very least now they have a way to communicate with us we have a way to communicate with them and um, it opens up that line of communication and it really paints that picture for what's going on in our airspace. No, I think it's great. And I think if you're a responsible pilot, you have nothing to be afraid of because no. don't forget in the new firmware upgrade, you will be able to write your intent. If you're flying in controlled airspace and you have an airspace authorization, good news, you'll actually be able to put the airspace authorization number into the DJI Go app. So someone like Nick, who's using Aeroscope, could actually see your intended use. I think it's really awesome. In addition to that, I think it's really good. You know, the FAA has kind of had issues with enforcements. I know they've got some enforcements going on right now, but there's really no tool to prove, no. you know, illegal pilots flying around. Yeah. And I think this is a fantastic leap forward yeah. in law enforcement, guys like you, in, in our ability to monitor the airspace and kind of stop the, the rogue Best Buy pilot, the guy who goes out to Best Buy, yeah. he buys that Phantom, and he's flying 100 yards from your tower. Yeah, again, we haven't seen uh, that being a real large issue, a systemic issue, or anything like that. Um, so again, um, the FAA has been really clear that their goal is to help encourage uh, US operators to fly safe and obviously their mantra. And so, and you know, we follow along with that Ventura County. We want people to fly. Um, yeah, realistically, if you're not doing anything wrong, then you got nothing to hide. And um, you know, we got no reason to 
to really interact. And yeah, with the new user upgrade, you'll be able to, as a pilot, uh, you know, list your pertinent information that you want us to see. So maybe it's a co-authorization number or a Part 107 authorization, or maybe you're a hobbyist and you've pre-coordinated with the tower. You'll have that ability. And so um, just like we have the ability to see aircraft tail numbers and telemetry data on radar when uh, aircraft are entering our airspace, now we have that ability to see that with UAS. And so uh, it's really no different. Um, and, you know, as long as the pilots are acting safe and, um, you know, doing the best that they can, um, there's really no reason for us to interact. I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome too because the FAA really has that c compliance mentality with enforcement. You know, if you get caught flying somewhere you shouldn't, it's not like they're going to cut you off at the knees. But what they will do is force you to essentially fly by the rules, get the right. get your 107, right. learn how to operate safely. Yeah, and most people, it's innocent. They just don't know. And so it's an opportunity for us to engage with the general public if we need to. Uh, you know, we can help get them that information that they might not have. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Well, Nick, just want to say thank you again for coming out and demonstrating Aeroscope. It's actually a really cool tool to use. And if it weren't absolutely. for you, we wouldn't be doing the show right now. So thank you very no, much. Absolutely. Sir. Really Thanks. appreciate it. Well, guys, if you want to find out more information on Aeroscope, oh, it looks like there's another <laughs> drone in the area. That'll happen from time to time. Wow. Okay. Well, on that bombshell, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks again for watching another episode of Ask Drone You.